Thanks to Soundbox for sponsoring a portion of our video. Ah, tailgating. Perhaps the most uniquely American of outdoor pastimes. And how can you not love it? It's a party. A great way to take a three or four hour event and stretch it out into an entire day of fun. And perhaps the only thing more American than inventing tailgating itself is what tailgating has evolved into. It's gone from hot dogs on a hibachi to whole hog smoking on a pit. From a couple cans of Coors to cast condition nitro tapped IPAs. A few diehard fans peppering the tarmac to entire villages occupying a south lot. But if you think that tailgating has reached its peak, think again. Today we're going to talk about how the electrification of tech can transform the tailgating experience. And by the way, this translates right off the tailgate and into your campsite or glamp site or into your new van life nomad lifestyle. Let's have some fun. So obviously an electrified tailgate or the most glam of glamping setups starts with the electricity. So that's where we're gonna start here. Now, if you happen to own, say, a Ford F-150 Lightning or any number of EVs that offer AC and DC power, then your ride to and from the party can also be your power source. But you don't have to own an EV to get into this ridiculous awesomeness. Portable power stations are where it's at. Now, you may have already seen a preview of the Anchor Solix F3800 that's coming out. We featured that in our LG Standby Me Go portable TV review, which is also making an appearance today, by the way. That thing, the Solix F3800, it'll power your entire house. And as awesome as it is, we didn't need something of quite that scale. So instead, we had Anchor send us its new Solex C1000 portable power station. This thing charges from zero to tailgate hero in under an hour. So it's ready to hit the road when you are, even if you forgot to plug it in before you hit the sack the night before. I know because I totally did last night. It stores 1,056 watt hours of juice and supports up to 1,800 watts peak draw, so it can recharge or directly power everything that we have here. It's rugged, so it can withstand getting dropped. It can handle the rain. Plus, it's got internal temperature regulation to protect the batteries while charging and discharging, meaning it's gonna last a good long time. You can also easily add an expansion battery if you like, and you can keep it charging using solar panels during the sunny months. All around, an excellent power source for us. But we don't just need to power these devices, we need to power ourselves throughout a long day. I am, of course, talking about hot food. We'll get to the liquid fuel in just a moment. That brings us to the Traeger Tailgater. Folks, it's in the name. This easily runs off the Anchor Solix C1000. It's high draw at first when it's warming up, and then it sips power as you smoke your goodies. I felt like ribs today, so that's what we're rocking on the Traeger Tailgater, which, by the way, is only 60 pounds and can really just go anywhere since we have the C1000 power on tap. Now, we're gonna need something to drink with those ribs, but I'm gonna get to that in a moment. Next, as we move along the tailgate, is the LG Standby Me Go portable briefcase TV. Now, if you didn't see my review of this thing, check it out. There'll be a link in the description once we're done here. But essentially, this is a 27 inch smart touchscreen built into a briefcase with batteries to power it and a pretty respectable built-in audio system. Now, to see it at its best, you wanna crank the brightness and that reduces the battery life a bit from uh, a max of three hours to close to two and a half or even two and a quarter hours. But with the Anchor C1000 here, we can power this TV while also powering the Traeger or we can just recharge its batteries. This way we can watch, well, whatever we want, but I'm thinking at the tailgate, we catch the other games being played that day or at the campsite, it's movie time, right? Watch what you like. That's the sights, but what about the sound? Well, like I said, this TV has a pretty decent speaker system built in, but the tailgating lot can get a little raucous. And if you have a big crowd around your setup, and if you got this going on, I think you will, 
then you're gonna wanna make sure everyone can really hear the action. Speaking of hearing the action, now hear this from our sponsor, Soundbox. Soundbox is the king of portable party speakers. They created the bandwagon. Everyone else is just hitching a ride. Soundbox made its name by making the loudest portable speakers you can buy. But make no mistake, Soundbox speakers aren't just loud, they also sound great. And the Soundbox 4 is their best speaker yet. When I say portable, I mean light, rigid construction, light enough to carry easily with your hands or on your back, but rigid enough to handle the massive amount of bass this speaker can put out. The Soundbox 4 is also rugged and ready for outdoor elements with silicone padded corners, IP65 rated water resistance, and a dent proof grill, which by the way is removable so you can customize it how you want. You can paint it right up. Portable also means power. This speaker can hit up to 126 decibels if you can handle it, and the sound stays clean at that volume. And this portable power pack is good for six hours at that insane max volume, or up to 40 hours at more reasonable SPLs. If somehow one Soundbox 4 isn't enough for you, no problem. You can effortlessly pair up to five of these speakers together with almost zero latency. And managing the sound and connections is a piece of cake with the Soundbox app. As if all that wasn't enough, the Soundbox 4 is ready for pro audio applications too. Run it as a PA speaker or as part of a live soundstage. I actually used this speaker as a monitor at my last gig and it sounded incredible incredible. It's got speak on connections built right in. I kid you not, this is pro level stuff. You'll find a link to the Soundbox 4 down in the description. Thanks again to Soundbox for sponsoring this portion of our video. So we've got power, we've got hot food, we've got the TV, and we've got the music and PA covered. What's missing? Oh yeah, obviously a yoga mat. We've got to keep limber, right? I'm sure I've got that around here somewhere. Yeah, you definitely want to get your exercise. I think I've got it in here somewhere. Hey, what's up, guys? Sorry I'm late, but I brought the goods. Oh, yeah, the drinks in the cooler. That's that's what I was thinking of. What's up, Nick? Hey, Caleb. You brought me uh, an electrified cooler, it looks like. You, you could call it that. This is the EcoFlow Glacier, which I would call it a portable fridge. Uh, it's a portable cooler with a twist. Uh, so there's a couple cool features here. The first is that you actually have two compartments and you can set the temperature on each one individually. This thing can actually go down to 14 below zero. Uh, so you can put ice cream in there, you can carry ice in this thing and it won't melt. No uh, way. Yeah, it's fantastic. That's crazy that you could keep ice cream frozen in here. How, how long will it last you? I mean, I've taken this thing camping, I've used it the entire weekend and even at the end of the weekend, it's still good to go. Right, so I mean, you can plug it in, but it's got a battery. Yeah, it has a built-in battery. The thing I love about this thing is, you know, you can pack this the night before you go camping, tailgating, whatever, get it all ready to go. It's good in the morning. You plug it in, you're not wasting ice. Also, when you get back from a camping trip, you don't have that swampy cooler of ice with like a block of cheddar cheese and lettuce floating in it. The we, bologna water. Yeah, the bologna <laughs> water. You waste way less food with this thing, actually, I've found. That is incredible. Um, it's got a display on it, right? So you can kind of, what, check the temperature and all that good yeah, stuff? Yeah, you, you can check the temp in each one. You can check the battery life. Right now we got 80%. There's also this thing. Ice maker. You're, ice maker. You're kidding. Yeah. Right? So, so how does that work? This cooler not only doesn't need ice, it makes it. Um, so you actually fill this compartment with water and takes about 20 minutes. These little nubs get cold and you have a basket of ice. Get out. How fast does it uh, make ice out of water? Just takes about 20 minutes. And then when you're done, I mean, you can throw the ice in the cooler if you want to keep something colder or I'm make a mean old fashioned in the middle of the woods with that. Wow. I don't even think like in the normal freezer, the ice freezes that quick. How's it doing that? Yeah, so there's a bath of water with these really cold sort of nubs that basically use the same cooling tech that cools the compartments and it cools these really fast, really cold. And so the water just freezes around the little metal nubs and then this basket pulls it out. That is stinking fantastic and way better than just your regular like blue igloo, right? It is, it's a lot of fun and uh, people find it a fun parlor trick. I bet they do. Uh, this is not all that you brought though. I noticed another little device hanging out in the back of your van, which I mean, you camp in this thing all the time, right? Yes, yeah, and this is the uh, EcoFlow Glacier, uh, which is actually a portable heat pump and air conditioner. So it can heat and cool 
You might be thinking, why not just use a space heater? This is a lot more efficient at producing heat than if you were to plug into a space heater into a battery that would last like just a couple hours. You can get more like eight hours out of this. You're kidding, that's incredible. So it's probably not gonna work like in a tailgate situation where we're outdoors. Um, uh, would it warm you up at all? Or is it really better for enclosed spaces? Yeah, you want an enclosed space. I've used it with like a tent. I've used it in my van. Um, I've used the van as a mobile office. I'll set this thing up and you're perfectly toasty warm and you don't have to run the engine. Wow, and, it, and it's AC as well? Yeah, it air conditions as well. Uh, it has a built-in battery, but you can also connect it to an outside battery like the one we have here and that'll give it a lot longer runtime. That is fantastic. Well, dude, thanks for bringing this stuff out. Uh, let me show you the rest of the setup real quick. Yeah, let's get some ribs. By the way, Nick wrote this great piece about how he basically ruined a camping trip with 130 pounds of portable batteries. Uh, he's a real outdoorsy guy and he gets to play with a lot of fun stuff, including what he brought today. You know, now that we're out here, I'm starting to think about all the other electric stuff that we could have brought. Like we could have brought a blender, we could have brought an espresso machine, we could have brought a fan. Uh, there are any number of lights maybe, any number of things that we could have brought out here uh, for an electrified tailgate. When you have power on tap like this, it opens up a ton of different possibilities. What a fun time we live in. Anyway, I hope you really enjoyed this video. We certainly enjoyed making it for you. So as you build out your summer or your winter plans, think about going with an electrified tailgate or an electrified glamping experience. It can be a lot of fun. Thanks as always for watching everyone. I've got some ribs to eat, so I'm gonna take off, but I will see you on the next video. And until then, here's two other videos I think you might like. Shut up, crows.